Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. Videos like the one I'm about to do rely on your support and I'm going to tell you why so please don't click off just yet. When I do a video review for a joystick it gets a reaction because most gamers are interested in and want joysticks. The reality is as a content creator I know that many other content creators will like or be interested in this product but that's a much smaller audience than a joystick. A capture card will do so much more than just stream to Twitch. So give me a couple minutes and let me explain. So we begin. First, as a disclaimer, no matter what I do, I will never be able to show you before and after footage on YouTube because of the way this platform compresses and plays back videos. So when I say that I notice a real tangible improvement in the video quality, you're just going to need to trust me. And as I said, it's very noticeable. It is beautiful. The product has been tested for about two weeks, replacing my daily card, and I've also tested it in operation on a very, very modest laptop with equally good results and good stability. There are many ways to capture video depending on the source and the subject. If you just want to make a video, your phone is probably just fine. You can get a GoPro or something a little bit more professional. For your Teams or Skype calls, a webcam is perfectly fine. Some of us want to exploit the benefits of using a real camera with a good lens and a better sensor. If you want to do this, some kind of capture card is needed and it's actually very easy to set all of this up. A capture card is recommended if you want to record game footage either from your PC or from a game console. The capture card has a pass-through and if it's a very good capture card, that pass-through can be high resolution and very high refresh rate. Pass-through simply means that the card sits between the source and the screen. There's an in and out port and this connection is ultra low latency so you won't even notice it. It's not just about recording video games. You may like to record all of your Skype calls just to have a record of them or perhaps you want to record your screen to show someone how to do something in Photoshop. Any source that can output an HDMI can be used. Capture cards come in two basic types, internal and external. Internal cards are designed to slot into a computer and this can either be the computer that you're using or you can use a second PC as capture to transcode, record and even broadcast. The specialized hardware is designed to take a video source and it does stuff with it resulting in a video file. A GPU or CPU can transcode video no problem but they're not as optimized to this task and that can place a larger load on the hardware. So when gaming the last thing I want is for my CPU to be doing something else. I want the gaming computer to give me the best performance possible when I'm capturing footage. Along with internal style cards, there are also external capture devices. These are very portable and can be as powerful as the internal cards. These can operate with a simple connection such as a USB and many do prefer these because of their flexibility. An external capture card with a laptop and a gaming headset may be all you need to stream anywhere. I prefer internal cards for my stream cart because it reduces the number of wires, but I could have achieved the same thing with an external or several external cards providing there's enough USB bandwidth. So now that we have a basic idea of what the capture card can do, what makes these new capture cards different? As things evolve, so does the tech. We went from 1080p as the standard to 4K now as the standard. As internet speeds up, more people want to watch more content in 4K, and to do this, the equipment needs to be more powerful. HDR is also more common, higher frame rates in our games is more common, high frame rates in our gaming screens is common. The GC553G2 Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 is a smart little external card that can capture 4K at 60 frames, but the more impressive thing is that it'll pass through the 4K signal lag-free at 144Hz with HDR on an HDMI 2.1 standard. Whatever you connect it to, be that a PC, next-gen console, or a camera, it's going to provide the highest quality transcode using the newest codec options. Your viewers will see what you see. Your recordings will have fewer visual artifacts and be able to keep up with very, very busy, high quality footage such as explosions and fast paced gaming. You're able to play without giving up your frames for the capture process. There are also some innovative features built in that will let you choose to record your Discord voice chat as its own track, separate so that it won't interfere with what you're trying to get. This next gen capture can scale from 4K 60 down to 480p, it can pass through 4K 144 all the way down to 480p, and because it does all the processing on board, your host PC is left completely unloaded and able to give you the best performance. So after all of that, the main takeaway from this video is that Avermedia is the first to offer this level of performance in an off-the-shelf capacity. Most others on the market are only able to capture 4K at 30 with a 60-frame pass-through. These new capabilities of the new capture cards from Avermedia are next-gen. 
The channel's known for its brevity, but I felt it was important to speak about this new piece of tech that I use as part of my workflow. I'm now able to stream and capture at better quality because of new equipment like this. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. As you can imagine, I have codes in the description to help you get the gear cheaper. For the most up-to-date information, you can get it at my Discord or at Avermedia's Discord. Do not hesitate to direct message me with questions or post them in the comments. Capture safe.